Nelson Mandela Bay will be run by an ANC-led coalition. It seems after the party's Eugene Johnson was elected mayor, she beat the DA's uh, candidate by only one vote. In Chwane, the DA has said that it's confident it will be able to form a workable coalition. Uh, voting and not finished there yet, and Johannesburg also still up for grabs. Now, the DA's Helen Zilla wrote before the voting that the DA did not want to join a minority coalition in Joburg because it would not be able to govern without the support of the EFF. Uh, that suggests uh, that Joburg could go to the ANC, but things are becoming a little bit more complicated today after a DA councillor was elected speaker in Ikuruleni. The DA only has 65 seats in Ikuruleni, but Raymond Lamini got 116 votes. That suggests the DA candidate may have been supported by Action SA and even the EFF. Zilla told journalists in a break, according to News24, the party was now willing to vote with anyone, but said the DA did not solicit votes from the EFF. Well, to discuss, we're joined by the DA Federal Council Chairperson Helen Zilla right now. Uh, Ms. Zilla, thank you for, for joining us. Please explain what's happening in Ikuruleni by voting for the DA. Is the EFF, uh, as it's been speculated, now forcing the DA to work with it in Ikuruleni? First of all, Francis, can I correct your report? Sure. I have never said, and the DA has never said, that we are prepared to vote for anyone. And anybody who wrote that on your script or on your teleprompt wrote an untruth. Uh, what, what I said specifically, Ms. Zilla, was the News 24. I reported that in a break, you said to journalists that the DA uh, was willing to vote with anyone, but you did not solicit votes from the EFF. Did you not say that? Does not say that. Mm -hmm. But most people can't trust anything that appears in the media anymore. What I said was that there was absolutely no agreement at all with the EFF. The vote for us came as a surprise, and that is the bottom line. There was no agreement, and we're not prepared to negotiate with anybody for votes. The vote from the EFF came as a surprise. It was not negotiated and not discussed yeah. with anyone. Okay, so I think that's what News 24 uh, said. You, you said that there was no soliciting of votes at all. Now, the EFF voted for the DA. Uh, my, my question is, does that, uh, it, does that force the DA to work with the EFF? It doesn't force us to do anything. The bottom line is, if we win in this particular round, which looks quite likely, we will have to assess the situation, set up a government and determine how we go forward. Does this mean that the EFF may vote for the DA candidate in Johannesburg? C can you tell us what you now expect to happen in Johannesburg? Well, I think you should ask that question to the EFF. We've had absolutely no discussions with the EFF. So if you're wanting to ask about the voting intentions of the EFF, Please ask the EFF. I'm asking about your expectations for Johannesburg. How do you think the vote will go? My expectation is that the Democratic Alliance will put up Mpo Palace and that the Democratic Alliance will vote for Mpo Palace. In a statement you issued earlier, um, and, and I hope I'm quoting you correctly because this is your statement, saying that we cannot allow the EFF in by the back door, um, uh, where they will be out of government or pretend to be, but they're actually the puppet masters behind a minority coalition led by Herman Mashaba. Um, uh, your, your response to some commentary around that, some are saying that the DA is being a bit of a big party bully, um, not willing to... Uh, work with Herman Mashaba, maybe the, the EFF is being used here, but, but is this about Herman Mashaba not wanting mm -hmm. to support anyone who was uh, doing well without the DA? Someone who was inside and then moved outside? This has got absolutely nothing to do with being a bully. In elections, some parties get more votes than others, and they're allowed to nominate their candidates and vote for them. When you stand for election, you don't give any guarantee to any voter that you are going to vote for the candidate of another party. 
and no voter should expect that that will automatically happen. All right. Uh... <sighs> Let's look at the, the local government elections while we wait uh, to, to hear who uh, wins in, in what municipalities. Ms. Ella, I'm glad we've got you because there was some analysis after the local government elections saying that given the service delivery protests, given the, uh, the huge unrest and unhappiness around ANC-led municipalities, the DA should have been in pole position uh, at least to make significant gains. It did not. Um, some suggested that you were pushed up in the federal council, that you were made more prominent because the DA was losing right-wing support to the FF+. Plus. But guess who did even better in these local government elections? The FF+. Plus. Do you think that you personally cost the DA votes in the local government election? Well, that's quite extraordinary. I have absolutely no idea where you get your analysis from. The bottom line is that we were the only one of the bigger parties that grew in this election. And we took back a lot of the support that we had lost to the Freedom Front Plus in 2019. We got it back. So the bottom line is of all the bigger parties, we were the only one that grew since 2019. Go and look at the statistics and please prepare on those statistics and on the facts for these interviews. Are you saying you grew overall? Because uh, it seemed like overall in terms of vote count, the DA did not grow. What, what, what are you talking about specifically? Well, we had an election in 2019. And the DA was the only one of the big parties that grew since 2019. And since 2019, we also got many, many yeah. of our votes back. But, but you lost, lost support uh, according, uh, uh, in relation to the recent, uh, the, the last local government election. Do you agree? Well, in the last, since the last local government election, the percentage poll has plummeted. Far fewer people have voted. And the bottom line is we had a consolidation election. Many people said we would continue to go backwards. We didn't. We consolidated very nicely, we have gone forwards, and we might be in for quite a number of surprises today. So, so some would say um, the, the black leader, Musi Maimane, of the DA was, was blamed for some of the, the losses uh, in, in 2019. Um, so you're saying you, you're not taking any responsibility for a decline, not compared to 2019, but local government election versus local government election. Well, you've got to say compared to what? The party had been unravelling from 2016 to 2019. The party is now nicely consolidated. We had a strong consolidation election. We've turned the corner. We are rebuilding our structures and systems and processes, and we're on the road again. What happens in Johannesburg if the EFF does support the DA's mayoral candidate? Um, if, if the smaller parties, which it sounds like there, there's been no... Um, coming meeting of minds with those smaller parties. But what if they do vote for, for the DA? Um, how will the city be governed? It, it sounds uh, very shaky. Well, we will have to work it out. I mean, voters voted in the way that they did, and voters are entitled to vote in the way that they want to vote across a whole range of small parties. And when that happens, you're inevitably going to get very brittle, very fragile coalitions, and we will seek to go into government where we can establish good, stable, principle-based majority governments, and that is what our intention is. And if needs be, could you work with Herman Mashaba in whatever capacity to, he, he emerges? I don't have to work with anybody. I'm a professional. I I, I'm talking about the DA in Johannesburg. Sorry, I was, I was talking about the party in Johannesburg. I am not in the DA in Johannesburg, and I'm not the mayoral candidate. So I think you need to ask the mayoral candidate that question. I, I'm asking for the DA's response. Is the DA, um, as a party, willing to, to make good on whatever comes of these elections and work <laughs> well with Herman Mashaba if they have to? Your party. We are professional. This is not about personalities. I've said that again and again, this is not about personalities. We are professionals and we work professionally 
with anyone that the voter e voters elect, and we are true to our mandate, and we are true to our promises to voters. All right, thank you very much uh, for your time tonight. We will follow uh, what happens in uh, Ikurileni, where a DA speaker has emerged, uh, but not a mayor. We'll follow what happens in Johannesburg. That was DA Federal Council Chair Helen Ziller. In fact, voting for the speaker...